Hey guys, it's Rise of 51 here, your Angel of Light. We're back for more Let's Play Paper Mario Dallas in your door. Last time we left off, we are still trying to figure out, uh, we figured out what we want, what uh, Bub, our little bomb bomb here, want to get, uh, not hit this guy, this is Bobbery, but our little bomb bomb friend, uh, we figured we want an autograph. So now we're going to bring him back to him and see if this is what he wants. And with me tonight, for the first time ever, I have a brand new special guest commentator. I don't think you guys have ever heard of him before, but I'm sure uh, you'll you'll start watching his LPs now. So uh, you may go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Crash World Five Nine Six. Um, how are you doing tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. Wonderful. Okay. So, so you're on a train? Yes. So let's see if we got the right thing here. So, did you make me bring the thing I want most? Yep, here's your autograph. Hey, yeah, bingo, mister. That's just what I wanted. You're a good detective. Here's something for you, just like I said. Alright, we got a shine spray for that. Cool. Thanks for the autograph. I'll take good care of it, I promise. And our and parents are still arguing. <laughs> so, it was like most of this game, uh, dialogue? I guess so. I'm not... <laughs> I'm, not I'm not really sure. I don't pay attention that, to that stuff a lot. I just pay attention to what goes on in the chapter, and that's about it. But, no, I don't really pay attention really well, so... Sadly, I don't know. <laughs> um, so is, like, the game hard to get into at the beginning, or do, does it, like, get better throughout the game? Like, more interesting? I think it does get, um... In my opinion, I think it does get more interesting in each chapter. Depending on what they do from, like... Fighting a dragon to go into discovering a giant tree. Uh, then you're wrestling in a pit. And then you gotta go through a haunted forest into a haunted castle to find some doppelganger. Turn everybody in the in the uh, whole town into pigs, which was kind of weird. And then you got another chapter where you're on a journey as uh, pirates. Searching for treasure. Hmm, sounds interesting. The point where I left off was where I was facing the giant dragon. Oh, uh, Hooktail, yeah. Mm. She's not too. She's not really that hard, in my opinion. I think I beat her. Wait, it's a her, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a she. I thought it was a he at first, too, but apparently it was a she. Okay, so apparently uh, the guy told us that we need. We we're one blanket short, so we need to go in here this pat in room four. But now you think now there's nobody here, so you need Vivian to do this. Yeah, make a little love. <laughs> little love and uh, the hell's that? Uh, are you real? Holy crap, you are real. So you found me. Oh, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize I'm a ghost. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> a yummy, sticky threat? No, I left no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where if, if you do something for me. What do you say? Uh, as long as you're not taking my soul and my friend here, that's fine with me. All I need is your, your life! Hey, if I was, if I just say we're not gonna take our life. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> No, just kidding. Whew. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. I think my luggage is still in the baggage bucket baggage car here. What was that luggage? <laughs> Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. And my fear that someone would find and read has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room, so can you please sign and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you what the blanket is. Sure, no problem. Don't you even dare read my diary. Because if you do, <laughs> a horrible fate awaits you. Yeah, 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 we won't read your diary. So, what exactly are you doing at the moment? Uh, we have to go get the ghost diary in exchange for the blanket. So, um, what do you need the blanket for exactly? Is it like. Just like somebody wanted or something. I think they uh, he uh, he he had a uh, blankets for each uh, room and 
Unfortunately for uh, Cabin 4, there was no blanket in that room at all, so he's wanting to get it back from him. Did you find it? Yep. What? A ghost? Eek! And, and he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car? Let's see. Well, go on in. You don't say no to ghosts. And you better believe it. Okay, the diary shouldn't be too far. Yeah, it's like right here. Yeah, I see it. And there we go, the racket diary. Now, don't worry, guys. I'm not going to show off on if you actually read the diary. I actually, you know what happens if you do. I'm not going to take my chances. Ooh, I don't want to risk that. Okay. Oh, but, oh, did you actually get the, uh, your spiral video up yet? Um, yeah, I did actually. I got it up like around six hours ago, I think. Oh, okay. All right, I'll check it out later on tonight. Mhm. Mm I'll check this out as well. Um, when shall this be uploaded? Oh, uh, it should be up tonight. Pretty late tonight. Okay. Okay, so let's talk to him now. Did you find my diary? Yep. Here you go. Yes, this is my diary. Very well. Your blanket is right here. And we got the blanket back. You were very wise not to read my diary, friend. <laughs> if you have read it, you might be a spirit like me right now. Yeah, we don't want that. But now I can go all peacefully, or on from this world. Thank you so much. You will probably never meet me again in this world. Fare thee well. And now the ghost will descend into the heavens. Or not. Well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wallpaper's so great. Maybe I'll just stay here just a little while longer. I can leave whenever so. That's all here it is to it. <laughs> okay, buddy, you're really creeping me out now. Yeah, that guy is quite creepy. <laughs> kind of freaked me out when I uh, played it at first. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, the ghost freaked me out. <laughs> like, okay, this is weird. Makes you wonder what's in that diary. Yeah, I, I may actually do that off camera one day and see, you know, what actually happens if you do read the diary. If it's like an all-mad game over for you or something. Here's the blanket. Oh, thank you so much. Now be comfortable tonight. Of course, our, our yummy and sticky mischief maker is still at large. Eh, sadly. Oh, hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture of my things. Oh, we got a mushroom. Thank you. It's getting lame, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should just turn in for the night. If anything happens, I'll report it to you immediately. Do not worry about a thing. For I am the conductor of the XS Express. Thank you very much. Okay, so this will end day one of the uh, of this uh, chapter. Unfortunately, uh, when they when the title said three days of excess or express, that means we're here for three days. On this train, doing a bunch of shenanigans. Okay. I'm expecting this uh, train to be very, very massive. It's pretty big. It's big and it's very fancy. How long do you think it would take you to walk from one end to the other? If I was actually, you mean if I was actually there, or like right now? No, in the game. Uh, let's see, game-wise, hmm. I would guess maybe 30, 45 seconds. From the uh, beginning of the train engineer to the very end of the luggage. Uh, yeah, I will say about 30, 45 seconds. Mm, doesn't seem that long. No, nah, not really. Okay, whoop, we got email. Which we're not going to even check anyway, because I don't check emails. Okay, so day two, so now we need to go back to see Pennington. Our penguin detective here in room six, and yep, he's talking to somebody right now. <clears throat> Let me get the character here. <clears throat> ah, my dear Luigi, your time is impeccable. No case is arising. Now then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts to my sister Luigi. Okay, okay, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It, it contained all the contracts of our next deal and even our new pro product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at the least. Now, now, calm yourself. The next part is vinyl, so tell Luigi very slowly. Alright, painting seriously. His name is not Luigi. It's Mario. 
He's wearing red, not green, you idiot. Get it right. Ugh. Of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Sounds good, but dangerous. Used properly, it, it's it's an amazing product that can even raise the dead. Oh boy. But mixed with the calcium from a gold, from a seashell and a bit of gold, well then, the results are explosive. What a twist. The resulting goo blast would immobilize everyone here in a sticky yet yummy shellac. It is hot. If it's fallen into the wrong hands, well, I could lose more than my job. Interesting. Let's determine the facts. These facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. Yes. Though you identify I had it yesterday. Hmm. And the train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. Right. I have it! Rudimentary, my dear Luigi! Rudimentary! The thief is still on the train. Lots of dots. Aha! Uh -huh. Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress and the lady at Cabin 2? They have both lost something on this train. The waitress lost shell earrings, and the lady Toodles lost a gold ring. Toodles? <laughs> Alright. Luigi, if the same person who stole these objects also has the nitro honey syrup, they could make the scoop blast, they could carry out the threat in the note. So it's simple, Luigi, you must find that thief. You must apprehend the suspect before the destiny plan is put into effect. Alright. So, let's go talk to those two ladies. The waitress and uh, Toodles. Since they've lost something. You're so totally bad that chubby guy in, re in record time. I was way impressed. Hey, come and think of it. I can use your skills. Could you help me? Really? Five stars. Wow, okay, so I lost these shell ears that my ex-boyfriend gave me. And they're like all full of memories and stuff. I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something? Please? Uh, to sure, I'll totally do that for you. Oh, brother. Kinda weird when people talk like that, no offense. Ugh. Okay, cabin two. Okay, Toodles. Let's shed, sweetheart. And... Oh, my, my. Well, you're no joke. Well, hello there, you fine, fine specimen of a man. You... You're marvelous, dear. Oh, well, I'm off day. You saw the rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes, very well done. You're so ruggedly smart. Perhaps you can help me with something as well. Sure, I'll help. Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Could you please hasten, hasten the search along for me, you bold, boldly brilliant man, you? Now, hey, 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 hey. I don't need a, you know, don't need to get into a love relationship or anything. Okay, let me look here in room one and... Hello, what we got here? A clue. A vile paper. This looks like something very important and complicated. And... Stuff from Zip Toad. Okay. So somehow Zip Toad is not in his room. That's odd. Okay. I'm still kind of confused on the main objective at the moment. <laughs> We're still trying to figure out who this yummy, sticky culprit is. Apparently that's what we found to know on the very first save when we went on the train. I was confused by this too at first, and it, it was just absolutely confusing. This this chapter is a bit puzzling. Aren't you like searching for like honey? No, uh, we're search we're trying to get some clues. Right now we found a vile paper, so we're gonna see if this helps us out a little bit. Let's see what he has to say. Have you stumbled upon any new clues? Yes, we found this vile paper. What is this paper? Hmm. What sort of clue to this supposed to be? Ah! ah th th that's one of the contracts for my upcoming business deal! What? I mean, yes. Just as I suspected. No, you did know that. I found it first. Or, uh, we found it first. <laughs> Luigi, where did you find this very important clue? Zip to room. Camera one, you say? Yes, Zip Toad's room. I just said that. A 
of ways I have long suspected. Come to think of it, I do not believe I see him today. Then perhaps he is hiding somewhere on the train, always one step ahead. Very well, my dear Luigi, find that ship toad. And I know where to find him. I know where that little bastard's at. Let's go find him. Is a toad like an actual toad? Yes, he's apparently, uh, from what we know, he's a famous, he's a, like a celebrity. A famous actor and all. I, we know like a little bit about him in this game. Oh, hello, we got another clue. Another document from the briefcase? The suspect, the suspect must be in here somewhere. All right, Vivian, let's make out. <laughs> Not really. And ah, gotcha. Sal, where'd you come from? You won't be catching me that easy, guy. Yeah, too easy. Ouch. Yeah, you can easily catch Sid Toad, no problem. He was a piece of cake. So this was our man all along, pretending to be Zepton, I see. All the while preferring things from others to aid your evil plan. Hmm, yes, this was all just as I deduced. Pains in, oh, I'll never get you. I knew all along you were a fake. Yes, if this current nostril hair tipped me off. <laughs> not bad. And not only that, but I knew that you were the one who threatened Luigi. Curses. I almost got away with it by getting off at Riverside Station too. Yes, you played a daring and ingenious little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, Fiend, and the good people on this train are shame. That is quick, sir. Now no one escapes from this improbably large brain. Ahem. <laughs> well yes, in any case, at least return what you have stolen, Fink. Yeah. Okay, so we got the briefcase, the gold ring. And the show earrings. Ah, my precious briefcase. Is the Nitro Hyster safe? There you go. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank the stars and say now I won't get the sack. A renovus oh our renovus with the shash was diffused by my most rudimentary deduction. Bing bong, bing bong. Attention all passengers. This train will soon make a brief schedule stop at River Sky Station. What? Oh, come on. We were supposed to get the Poshly Heist, not here. Oh, that's why. 